has not forgotten the 53 migrants who died as a result of being packed in the back of a tractor trailer several weeks ago. It was abandoned on Quintana Road in southwest San Antonio. But now that very space has turned into a memorial that continues to grow. The night team's Camelia Juarez takes us there. Cars slow down along this stretch of Quintana Road. When you see pictures of children and you know, they left families behind. People have come to pay their respects and honor the migrants who died here just a few weeks ago. I mean, these are probably like someone's dad, mother, brother, sister, niece, nephew, what have you. And it's just, it's, it's an eye opener. Since migrants were found here on June 27th, visitors have traveled to pay their respects. They come and go unless they're out of town because people have made pilgrimages to here uh, to, to see this from North Carolina, Florida, Oregon. People were so impacted by what happened to the migrants that not even the heat stopped them from coming to the site. Among those people is Sandra Grace Martinez. She's been coming a few times a week to keep the memorial clean. She also used donations to pay for porta potties. And then there was rosaries that lasted two hours and there was dances and, you know, uh, saging and all kinds of things. So people had to go to the bathroom. Other volunteers have been mindful of other visitors, bringing extra drinks, fruit and ice to make sure people have what they need to heal and come together. I don't know if it's because their journey may have been similar and um, they like the energy here when people are together and sharing their stories. I mean, I, I would like, you know, that to be all over our community. And that's our Camelia Juarez reporting. Now we know that people are going to gather at the Quintana Road site again in a few weeks. They're going to mark one month since this happened. On July 27th, people are going to bring mariachi and rosaries to honor the 53 people who died.